Hey guys, it's Bookwaster again. So today, I'm gonna read this book, Survival Adventure, Oxford Reading Tree series created by Roger Cunt and Alex Breccia. Wilf took a tent round to Chip's house. He and Chip were going to sleep in it. I've never slept in a tent before, said Chip. I wonder what it will be like. It'll be fun, said Wolf, but we'll need a survival kit. Wolf had lots of things in a rucksack. These can go in our survival kit, he said. We'll need them to survive outside. I've got a torch, a ball of string, a plastic sheet, some chocolate, and a first aid box. What else will we need to survive? I've got a mirror, a pencil and notebook, and a bag of crisps, said Chip. Biff came out with a big umbrella. You might need this. It's going, it's going to rain, she said. You can't have an umbrella in a survival kit, said Wolf. Don't be silly, Biff. That evening, it began to rain. It rained so hard that Chip and Wolf couldn't sleep outside in the tent. In the end, Mom said that they could camp on Chip's bedroom floor. You won't need a survival kit here, said Biff. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. The children were pulled into a new adventure. If this is going to be a survival adventure, said Biff, I'm taking the umbrella. You don't need an umbrella on a survival adventure, shouted Chip. Don't be silly! Amy was tired and fed up. The wagons were stuck. They had been stuck for two days. Amy's family was on a long journey. They were going to a new land. They were taking everything in the wagon. They had come a long way and they had a long way to go. Stay close to the wagon train, said Amy's father. Don't wander off. It's easy to get lost in the woods. Amy didn't listen to her father. I'll go and pick some wild berries, she thought. If, if I don't go far, I won't get lost. Amy found lots of blueberries in the wood, but she didn't stay close to the wagon train. She just went on and on. I must get back, she thought at last, but she couldn't find her way. All the trees looked the same. Oh no! I'm lost, she thought. Amy was frightened. She didn't know which way to go. Suddenly, something closed on her foot. It was a trap, and she couldn't get it off. Help, shout, help, shouted Amy. Help me, somebody. But Amy was a long way from the wagon train, and nobody could hear her. Little Fox was tired and fed up. He had been in the woods all day looking for honey, but he hadn't found any. Every time he found a tree with a bee's nest, the honey was gone. Now he was lost. Little Fox knew why there was no honey. There was a brown bear in the woods. The bear had taken all the honey. The little fox was frightened. He was a long way from the village, and the bear was not far away. I must be careful, thought little fox. Little fox heard Amy shouting. Someone is in trouble, he thought. He, he ran through the trees as fast as he could. He found Amy caught in the trap. Little fox tried to open the trap, but he wasn't strong enough. The bear was a long way away, but he heard Amy shouting too. He stood on his hind legs and sniffed 
the air. The bad could, s- the bear could smell Amy and little fox. He was a bad-tempered bear. He didn't like people in his part of the wood. The magic key took Biff, Chip, and Chip and Wilf to the woods where Little Fox was helping Amy. Little Fox and Amy were amazed. They had never seen children like these before. Biff, Chip, and Wilf were amazed too. It looks like they're in trouble," said Chip. The children could see that Amy was caught in the trap. They ran to help Little Fox. Together, they pulled open the jaws of the trap. Ugh," said Chip. "What a horrid thing!" The trappers used them to catch animals," said the little fox. "Traps like these are traps like this are cruel." The trap had hurt Amy's leg. Will put a bandage on it. Biff and Little Fox smashed the trap with a rock. It's a good idea to smash the trap," said Little Fox. "But we shouldn't make all this noise. The bear will hear us." Suddenly, the children heard a roar. The bear came out of the trees and ran towards them. All the children were frightened. "Oh, help!" shouted Wolf. "This bear doesn't look very friendly." Run! I can't," said Amy. Biff had an idea. She opened the umbrella and shut it. Then she opened it and spun it round and round. The bear stopped. He was afraid of the umbrella. He had never seen anything like it. Then he gave a roar and ran away. That was brilliant," said Chip. "But how did you know that bears are afraid of umbrellas?" "I didn't," said Biff. Suddenly, it began to rain. "Now who says you can't have an umbrella and a survival kit?" she asked. "Don't get wet, everyone. Come under the umbrella." After it stopped raining, the children went on. At last, they came to a river. Little fox told everyone to keep quiet. Then he lay down on the bank and put his arm in the water. Suddenly, he caught a fish. That's amazing," said Chip. "I couldn't do that." "How do we cook it?" asked Amy. "We don't have a fire." But little fox made a fire. He made it with a bow and a stick. That's amazing too," said Chip. "He's lit a fire without any matches." It was getting dark, and it was beginning to rain again. Chip and Wolf put up the tent. Biff and Amy put up the plastic sheet to make a shelter. Little Fox cooked the fish, and the children sat around the fire. They ate the fish and the berries that Amy had picked. Then they ate the chocolate. Amy told everyone about her mother and father. She told them how the wagon train had gotten got stuck in the mud. Amy began to cry. Maybe I'll never see my mother and father again," she said. "Don't worry," said Wolf. "We'll find them." Suddenly, Biff grabbed the umbrella and jumped to her feet. She ran outside and began to shout. "Help!" she called. "We've been surrounded!" Everyone jumped up. Biff spun the umbrella round and round. "Go away! Go away!" she shouted. Little fox laughed and laughed. Everyone laughed. This is my father," said little fox. He thought I was lost. He was looking for me. Sorry," said Biff. "You were very brave," said the little fox's father. "Yes, she fr- frightened up the bear," said little fox. 
The children told the little fox's father about their adventures in the wood. They told him about the trap. He laughed when they told him how the bear was afraid of Biff's umbrella. It's easy to get lost in the woods," said Little Fox's father. Amy told Little Fox's father about the wagon train. "My mother and father will be worried about me," she said. "They will think I have been killed by a bear." "Don't worry," said Little Fox's father. "We will soon find the wagon train." In the morning, little. Little Fox's father found the wagon train. Amy's mother and father were glad that Amy was safe. We looked and looked for you in the woods," said her father. "When we couldn't find you, we thought you had been killed by a bear." "I almost was," said Amy. "The wagons were still stuck." "We've been stuck like this for three days," said Amy's father. Little Fox looked at his. Father, can't we help? He said. Can't we all help pull them out? Little Fox's father laughed. He spoke to his men. Soon they pulled the wagons out of the mud. At the last, the wagon train was enabled to go on. Was able to go on. The children watched them for a long time. I wouldn't like to be on that wagon train. It will be," said Biff. "It will be a hard journey. There are no shops to buy food, and there isn't a doctor if they are ill." The magic key began to glow. It was time for the adventure to end. Biff gave Little Fox the umbrella. "You can use it to frighten away the bears," she laughed. Biff looked at Wolf and Chip. Umbrellas are useful in a survival kit, after all," she said. The children liked the survival adventure. The next day, they put the tent up. Biff wanted to make Wolf and Chub laugh. "Look what's outside," she said. "And I haven't got my umbrella now." "Oh no!" laughed Wolf. "What shall we do? We can't survive without Biff's umbrella." Survival adventure. Camping in the garden is fun, but can the children survive the dangers of camping in the wild? Thanks, guys, and subscribe. Bye.